Dai's new M2 looks more like a piece of art on the display stand than it does a paintball gun. It almost seems like a shame to go get this gun good and dirty, but let's go shoot it and see what it can do. This is John. I'm out here with the new Dai M2. This is the Moss Air version that's new for the end of 2016, 2017. Uh, this has wireless charging and all sorts of other goodies we'll go into when we're out of the cold. I'm out here at Gateway Paintball Park and let's shoot it. I've got the R2 hopper on, the i5 mask. It is on NXL mode. I'm not sure if you can see that. Oh, let's get a good, good look at the gun though. The gun's just gorgeous. But let's see how it shoots. Got a couple flyaway balls, but it is freezing out here. Oh, the barrel is already cold to the touch. Not the most accurate paint I've ever shot, but the gun's performing beautifully. It's already getting real cold, but let's actually go through a couple different modes. And shooting the R2 all the way down, not breaking paint. Let's see what other modes we can do. I'm gonna take it into Semi. Let's see how I can do shoot semi. I don't get to do that very often. Okay, that can't be completely legal. We might have to take up the debounce a little bit, but that's nuts. Feels pretty legal. Now let's try it. Oh, I'm already through that too. Let's shoot it a little bit more in semi, that's fun. That is not the gun slowing down, that is my fingers freezing. See what else that what other modes we can put the gun in real fast let's try outlaw mode a little bit of illegal ramp that is just insane this is john we've been shooting the new die m2 the moss air and it's it's a gorgeous gun shoots well i don't know if you can tell no barrel breaks no chops Nothing even in the freezing weather out here. Uh, gorgeous guns, the Iron Man. In fact, this is an old Iron Man jersey. Uh, Iron Man have been shooting uh, Matrix guns for 15 plus years. This jersey, I think, is from 2002 ish. So, absolutely trustworthy guns at any level. Uh, and just some of the most gorgeous guns on the planet, too. So, I went to upload the video you just watched, and the camera apparently glitched. Some of the pieces were missing, so instead of uploading just two-thirds of a, a shooting video on the M2, I figured I would come back to Gateway Paintball Park, I would shoot the gun a little bit more, give you guys a little better look at it. Uh, got the Dai M2, got the i5 mask, even have a classic Iron Man paintball jersey to wear, and I've only got some Balkan field paint, it's a little, okay, it's a lot cold to shoot the Ultra Evil I have, but we're gonna try that as well anyway.
All right, let me switch it over to semi real quick. Let's see if I can get on it. These do pretty well. Seems to do really well. Okay, since all I had today was field paint, I went back to my car and grabbed some Ultra Evil left her over from the summer. It's way too cold to shoot this today, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Let's see how the M2 handles brittle paint. It's still on semi-auto mode. No paint down the barrel. Handled it absolutely fantastic, even for super brittle paint in the middle of winter here in St. Louis. So M2 is real solid. It's handling brittle paint. It's it's pretty air efficient. It's a good gun. Look forward to shooting it a whole lot more, trying it out, and trying some of the new 2017 features. But in the meantime, absolutely fantastic shooting gun. The Die M2 with Moss Air is going back on the charging gun stand, not because it needs it, but because it's the coolest looking stand, gun stand I've ever seen for a paintball gun. Look for future videos going over the Evoke system as well as more of the Moss Air features. I'm really impressed with how the M2 did. It shot great in the cold weather, it never missed a beat, never broke a ball. I'm looking forward to shooting it a lot more.